One of the very main reasons I think why this system is broke is because there, how would you say it, there's a distinction between the monetary system and the economic system. Okay, as a, going back to what I said before, people tend to think of these things as almost like natural laws of physics. How did the world exist before there was capitalism, right? You had economy, you had trade, you had human endeavor that resulted in, you know, building and, you know, development of society, right? So how did, how did all this work before capitalism? Well, one of the reasons is because what they didn't teach us in school when they taught us about supply and demand is that money Money, the idea of money, what money is, who controls it, how it's distributed, what the rules that it's going to be governed by are questions that are literally almost totally separate apart from what the economic activity is. Okay, And this is why I think spontaneously this movement was created and was directed at Wall Street. Because what is really broken about this system is the financial system. This is the thing, and this, and this is what I hope will come out of this, right? Is that we literally start to look at all of this stuff at a much, much deeper level, a much, much deeper level than just the surface of what this or that policy we ought to enact, okay? One of the things that we really also have to kind of determine is do we want a society that automatically says that what's good for business is automatically good for the rest of the society?